how to lower your credit card interest rates. Hello everyone and welcome to Novarise, your channel for financial education. So today we're going to talk about how you can lower your credit card interest rates. And in today's video, we're going to talk about the steps that you can take to actually lower the rates in your credit card so that you can expedite the death payout process. And towards the end of this video, not only you're going to learn about the process, you will also know exactly what to implement. So that way it can be a rinse and repeat process, but you will also learn to be more confident so that you don't have any doubts going forward and applying the steps that I'm about to follow. So for that, we're going to go straight into the tablet. Before we start, let me remind you to subscribe to the channel and hit the notifications button. So the question that I always get asked by people is, can you really lower your credit card interest rate? The short answer is yes. And the next question I always get asked is how? The short answer will be just ask the bank. It's as simple as that, right? But before you venture out into just asking, you need to have a strategy in place so that you can improve your odds of succeeding, right? So now the next question I get asked is, what is an ideal interest rate? And the answer is, it will depend highly on your credit profile, okay? It depends on your profile, on your history. So when you're in doubt, just simply strive to get the lowest rate you can for your profile, but it will be very, very variable depending on who you are and the credit history that you have. So now down to the nitty gritty. There are three steps that I have to share with you in terms of lowering your credit card interest rates, right? So number one, the fastest and easiest way to lower your credit card rate is by just simply applying for a new car and not just any car, but it has to be a new car that offers a 0% Ray, or what they call a zero APR car that gives you the option of a balance transfer. Okay, that's the path of least resistance. Um, and you have to do it with different banks. So let's say, for example, if you currently have a credit card um, that has high interest with a Chase, the card that you're going to apply is not going to be with Chase. You have to go to Citibank or to Bank of America, um, you name it, but it has to be a different card, right? Once you do that, there are, let's say, two outcomes, right? So let's say you got your new card approved. So you got your new credit card at 0% APR approved. Now what, right? So one outcome is that you will have enough credit to do the balance transfer. So let's say, for example, your debt with Chase was for $10,000, but then this new card you got approved for $15,000 with, I don't know, Citibank, right? So this is an ideal scenario. All you gotta do is just to, you know, transfer the balance from this high interest card into Citibank and you're good. But a possibility that can come out of this is that maybe you get approved for a car but it doesn't have enough credit. Maybe the car gets approved for only $7,000, right? And so that means you still have $3,000 under your Chase car that still has a very high rate and you're trying to, you know, bring it down. So in this case, that's when um, you can either choose to call the bank and ask for a credit line increase right here so that way you can maximize the benefits of that 0% credit card and just, you know, rinse and repeat and then just simply transfer the balance um, onto this card. So let's assume that from at 7,000, you ask for a credit line increase and you are at 15,000 now and you're good to go. You do the balance transfer, boom, end of the story. But let's say it didn't happen. Maybe they did approve you, but it wasn't enough. Maybe they raised it to only $8,000 and you're still short 2000. So what you will do in this case is that you're going to have to negotiate with Chase to lower your credit card rate. So one way to negotiate is by telling them that you're about to do a balance transfer, but you don't want to deal with the hassle and that you're trying to see if they can actually lower your rate. Um, maybe from 24.99 that you have to down to 15.99 if it's possible. I know in hindsight, it might not sound like it's enough, but believe me, it's going to help you in the long run 
to save money and interest. Another um, negotiation tactic that you can apply is to blame it on the Fed and say, hey, you know, the Fed lowered the rate. So how come my cards are still so high? And, you know, you should, you know, honor that and, and help me get access to a lower rate. Another item that you can use or that highlight uh, in your negotiation is that um, your payment history. But you can only do this if you have an exceptional payment history, okay? It has to be exceptional. If you don't, don't even worry about it. It's, it's not worth it. But if you do, try to leverage that in your negotiation. For those who have no idea what I'm talking about with the exceptional payment history, I created an episode not too long ago that you can definitely check out after this video, of course, that's going to help you understand the importance of having an exceptional credit history. Now, I want to address something in this strategy because I have gotten comments in older videos about the fees that um, you have to pay when you're using a balance transfer. So let's just do some quick math here to help you understand. What do you prefer to pay? A fee for a balance transfer of 3 to 5%? That's usually what um, the credit cards charge you. Or do you prefer to pay the standard rates in your credit card, which can go as high up to 27.99% all the way down to, I don't know, 19.99% if you're lucky. Even if you get a good rate at 15.99%, which I still haven't seen anyone get, this number is way better than any of the numbers that you can get here. So what if you have to pay a balance transfer? It is the cost of doing business. It is the cost that you have to pay up front for saving money and interest. I would much rather pay 3 to 5% on my credit card balance. In this case, we were using an example of $10,000 than paying $10,000 based on this rate, okay? So just wanted to get that out of the way. Now, strategy two. I understand that sometimes applying for a new credit card is not possible because depends on where you are with your credit. Maybe you do have a lot of debt and no bank is willing to give you a new credit card. And so when you are in that situation, what you can do is apply for a personal loan, okay? Now, I know that personal loans typically have higher rates, but hear me out, um, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna apply for a personal loan and you're gonna use that loan to pay off your credit card that has a high rate, right? So in this case, we're talking about the Chase car, and I'm not saying Chase car have high rates, we're just hypothetically using Chase as an example. And so you're gonna apply for a personal loan, you're gonna pay off that debt right here, and you're gonna give it some time uh, for your credit score to update. And hopefully it will update with a new credit score that is higher. So you're gonna have a better FICO. And then once your FICO is improved, then you get to apply for that new credit card, okay? And again, what new credit card do you want? You want one that has a 0% APR. It can be a 0% introductory offer, or it can be a card that offers you a 0% um, balance transfer. So, so far, I only know of two cars available in the market that can offer both. Usually it's either or, but I do know of two cards available in the market. One is Discover It and the other one is uh, Chase Freedom. Now, if you're looking for those cars, we actually have them on our website. All you got to do is go into our website, NovaRiceInvest.com, and then you're going to go ahead and select resources. And then once resources gets open, you're going to go ahead and click on important tools. And once you're in important tools, you're going to go ahead and click on best credit cards. And once you are in best credit cards, you're gonna have the option to choose the Discover or to go for the Chase Freedom. And for those who are looking to expedite their process, the link to this website is gonna be left for you down in the description box below. Now, back to the presentation. This strategy right here has multiple advantages. Why? One, while well, you're paying off your debt, right? That's um, a no-brainer. Uh, you're also reducing your interest right? That's also a no-brainer. But at the same time, you're accumulating points. And those points are reward points that you can use as cashback to help you reduce this debt 
even faster. For those who want to know how you can take advantage of the reward points and use those points towards your debt reduction, here's an episode that I created not too long ago that you can actually check out and learn about the process and implement exactly what I'm referring to. Now, moving on to point three. And this strategy you can only use only if you have a good credit. It doesn't have to be excellent, but it has to be good because this strategy will leverage existing credit cards that you have, okay? So let's say, for example, you have, like I said, your Chase car, uh, 10K, and you have a 24.99, right? And you're looking to reduce that. But then on the other hand, you have other cars like Discover It, you have other cars like Chase Freedom. So we already know that with Chase Freedom, you cannot use it if you have a Chase car. The transfer has to be done with different banks. Uh, it cannot be with the same car. Let's say you do have a Citibank that also offers a 0% balance transfer. So what you're going to do, you're going to call these lenders right here, and you're going to ask them to see if they have any 0% APR um, balance transfer offers that you can leverage. And more often than not, you'll be surprised. They do have them. So if they do, just simply ask them, what are the steps that you can take to do the balance transfer? Sometimes they might even offer to do it for you over the phone. Or sometimes they will send you checks in the mail that you can actually write to yourself uh, at that 0%. And then you will use that to pay off the debt that you have here. So this way you will enjoy the benefits by leveraging what you already have and you don't have to go through the hassle of having to apply for a new credit card and then waiting for it to arrive to you in the mail. Now that you're ready to take action, here's a video on the side that you can check out so you can take a look at the possible personal loans or possible credit card offers for zero balance transfer or an introductory offer at a zero percent. And all you gotta do is just to click in here. So happy learning, happy watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.